As your 3D projects and animations grow bigger, you're going to end up with many different models, materials, and other assets that you're going to end up needing to reuse. If you just copy these things, you're going to end up with really large files, as well as making it really difficult on yourself to tweak things down the line, especially if you're working with other animators on your team. I'm Zach Hickson, and today we're going to be going over scenes, data blocks, library overrides, and how to link them all together. A lot of you have probably noticed this drop down at the top of the screen called Scenes, and maybe even accidentally hit it once or twice, but never really used it for anything. Well, let me tell you, you're really missing out. Scenes are great. They allow you to create multiple independent 3D scenes, all within the same file, so you can organize all your different shots in one place. Since they're all in one file, you can easily link materials and objects from one scene into another, allowing you to reuse a bunch of stuff. Materials from other scenes can be selected just like normal by using the Material dropdown. If you want to send an object from one scene to another, you can hit Ctrl L and select the scene you want. This will send a linked version of that object to the other scene. In case you wanted to really tweak every detail of your scenes, you can also link mesh data itself from other scenes as well. If you're a compositing fan, you're going to love this one, as you can even slap together multiple scenes in the compositor just by changing which scene is selected in the render layer node. Each scene can have completely different settings and render passes, so you want a shot where the foreground is rendered in cycles and the background in Eevee, BAM! You got it! But what if you want to use something across multiple projects, like a model or a material? Well, don't worry, I got you covered. You COULD export everything as an OBJ or something, but what are we, cavemen? Thankfully we're in the future, we have running water, electricity, canned meat, and two buttons in the file menu that let us do wondrous things. The first one, the append button, is pretty cool and works basically like your normal import, where you can import anything from models and materials to entire scenes and collections from another blend file. If it exists in a Blender file, we can append it. This is good if you want to bring something into your file and then heavily modify it, as you're creating a brand new copy of the thing in your scene. This does have the downside though of making your files bigger, so use it when appropriate. Then we got this cool link feature. By linking, we're creating a dynamic link between the original library blend file and our current blend file. Meaning if we update something in the original, it'll update in all the files we linked the asset in. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Zach, that's pretty cool, but why can't I move anything? Well, when you link something, everything including the position properties are linked as well. Sometimes this is what you want, like if you're linking background scenery and other things that don't really have to move. That way, when you update the position of things in the original scene, it updates in all the other scenes at the same time. Sometimes, however, we do want to change things while still keeping it linked, and that's where library overrides come in. You can override an object by right-clicking it in the outliner and selecting Add Library Override, and you'll see we can now move it around and animate it, but if we change the original, the linked object is still updated. We can even override specific parts of an object, like just the mesh data. Currently, this is a pretty new feature, so not everything can be overrided, but more override options are always being added in every update. In 2.9, for example, support is supposed to be coming for overriding materials, modifiers, and constraints. If you want to manage the data you have linked into your blend file, you can go up to the outliner and switch it from view layer to blend file, and you will see all your linked data displayed at the bottom of the list. From here, you can also delete it by right-clicking and selecting delete, or relocate the linked files if something got moved or renamed. I hope now you feel a little bit more comfortable using scenes and linking data, as well as seeing some ways you can use this in your own project. I'm Zach Hickson with CG Cookie, and I will see you next time.